Good evening, and welcome to tonight's Crew Call. My name is Jimmy Hayes Nelson. I'm the founder of The Crew, and I am your host this evening, coming to you live from Dallas, Texas. So excited that you have invested some time this evening to be here with us. It speaks volumes with how serious you are about being a successful coach, about plugging in, being around other people that are having success, learning from those, uh, being willing to be teachable, and more than anything, just recharge your batteries uh, once a week to be here with your other crewmates. Um, second week with the go-to webinar thing, I love the fact that you guys are saying, hey, I can watch this from my phone, I can watch this from my iPad. Uh, I will, I'm will. i gonna continue to get better at this. Uh, it's a new format for me also. I was very comfortable in Instant Presenter. I could run that thing in my sleep. Uh, so this is a little new for me. I actually have two screens rocking tonight. Um, and this will be the first time that we have a guest on in this format. So thank you guys so much uh, for your patience. Uh, with this, and if it doesn't run like a well-oiled Broadway machine, that's okay. We're going to get a little better next week. It's just like coaching, right? We show up, we do what we can with what we have and what we know, and then we go back and we say, this is what went well. This is what didn't go so well. How can I improve, right? It's learn, do, tweak. Learn, do, tweak. Learn, do, tweak for the rest of your life as a coach. Um, and the rest of your life is life, man, right? Because you learn something, and if you just stay in learning mode, that's cute. You have some knowledge, but you haven't applied anything yet, right? So you learn something, you go apply it, you go try it. You're probably not going to be great at it. And then you come back to the team and you say, okay, I went and I did this and this isn't working so right, so let me tweak it. So learn, do, tweak, learn, do, tweak, right? Um, and that's how we roll. So um, thank you so much for being here. If this is your very first crew call, welcome. Our team is growing like gangbusters. It's so exciting to see you guys out there changing lives, plugging into our challenge groups, inviting other people. Um, and I just love the fact that so many of you are willing to invite and share in the midst of your own fitness journey. I really think that that's the most powerful thing we can do. Not that, hey, look, I'm a perfect specimen or this person's a perfect specimen or check out this person's abs. It's, hey, I'm in the middle of this, good days and bad, and I'm looking for some people that were willing to be in this with me daily good days, bad days, and just be in this thing. It's not about being perfect. It's about progress, right, baby? So that's what we have. Uh, no, no chat box for the, uh, about the fifth time. I'm going to say that, and then we're going to move forward. No chat box tonight. We're still working on that. I can take questions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you guys um, to hold your questions, and uh, we're going to take questions at the end. So I want to fly through a lot of this. So uh, we have time for uh, Clarissa to answer some questions of yours. So as soon as she gets on tonight, uh, you can start asking questions in that question box. And uh, at the end, I'll scroll through, pick a couple, and we'll get to those. So let's go to recognition time because you guys rock my world. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, volume the past two weeks have been banana cakes. And uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping and hoping – you are at least emerald rank to start seeing team bonuses, and that's where this thing gets so exciting. If right now you, um, if you're a coach rank and, and you're excited about your retail commission, that's awesome. That is step one in this sucker. Uh, when you start seeing benefits from what the entire team is doing, especially with weeks like the past two weeks, with the 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 spike that we've seen with the T25 Challenge Pack on sale, with Vanilla Shakeology, with just T25 in general, it's been crazy. So recognition, this is what we recognize our team volume leaders from last week. So all these numbers, if you're like, Jimmy, I see something different in my back office, this is the team volume I can see, not your own personal volume, something you should probably educate yourself on, ask in the crew wall how a challenge pack is a certain number PV, but it's a different number TV, TV being team volume, right? Um, if all that's Greek to you, don't worry about that. All this means is we're recognizing the people that are out there serving the most people. I don't look at these people as the shrewdest salesman. They're not the one with the slickest line. They're just out there. with They're the people investing in the most people, identifying problems, and offering solutions. That's the way I look at that. So let's Let's recognize the crew. As you can see, the Crew 200 Club. These are the people that had between 200 and 299 team volume points from last week. And as you can see, there's a lot of stinking names there. So we're going to fly through them really quick. I'm going first names only uh, just to save some time. Is Constance, Cheryl, Alex, Michael, Mandy, Brian, Andrew, Timothy, Steph, Shannon, Christy, Lisa, Michelle, Stanley, Valerie, 
Emma, Jose, Renee, John, Malia, Ben, Derek, Tracy, Justin, Christopher, Beverly, Christina, Lee, Tim, Michelle, Monique, Joshua, Simple, Sarah, Angela, Michelle, Jack, Kendra, Maria, Brittany, Alex, Nina, and Deborah. Congratulations. That is amazing. I don't know if these lists have ever been this long, and that's so, so exciting. Uh, let's go Crew 300. My beautiful wife at the top of that. And then Kathleen and Brent and Angela and Andy and Brandy and Aaron and Jed and Daniel and Katie. These are people that um, have team volume between three and three ninety nine, and team volume can be a mix of things that people have purchased through you and what you purchased yourself. So maybe some of this is something you decided to invest in you this week, and that's awesome as well, guys. The Crew Four Hundred Club: Kim, Steve, Jeremy, Cheska, Kobe, Tammy, Suana, Jillian. What's up, Egos? Kelly, Christy, Christopher, Alicia, Andrew, Emily, Shannon, and Victoria. Vicky, Vic, Vicky. Vic. Um, that's awesome, guys. That's four hundred to four ninety nine. We're talking about some serious stuff rolling through there. The crew five hundred to nine ninety nine club. Yanelba, Tulin, Cherie, Crystal, Jody, Adrian, Christina, Jamil, Cindy, Mary, John, and two CBCs together. Brian and Allison Moore. That's one slide left. Who are the big boys this week? The Crew 1000 Club. Yours truly and my second CBC with 1130. Michelle Kellogg, two CBCs combined for uh, 1334. And Kristen Washko with 1500. And back at the top, you know you can't hold a good man down for very long. Mr. Kobe Linder, combined CBCs of 17. 10. That's awesome, guys. Congratulations. Um, so uh, next slide. We have Success Club. And if you notice, I started – you guys did so much. We had Success Club 30-plus last month, and uh, you're going to hear some crazy stories that it's going to blow. It's gonna, your belief system is about to go up, up, up tonight with tonight's uh, guest on what is possible with this business. And I'm so, so excited. So I'm going to fly through this because I just want to talk to her. Um, is So let's talk about what we have so far. we got two that have already hit Success Club 10 this month. What are we on right now? Today is the, today is the, what is today's date? The 10th? Are we at the, no, we're the 8th. So, so many of you try to hit 10 by the 10th, right? So um, we're, at, we're at the 8th right now. we got Kristen and Jamil, both at Success Club 10. Uh, Success Club 5 through 9. Uh, Christy, Tulin, Brian, Kobe, Vic, Adrian, me, Bev, Christopher, Jacania, you're gonna, I'm gonna mess up your name again, and you're just gonna tattoo it on my forehead, okay? You're just the next one in line, sweetheart. You're the next one in line of, of names I've butchered in a long line. Uh, and Mary Shrank, Mary, Mary, quite contrary, looking awesome. And look how many people we have on the board. All these people on the board, if, if you're taking notes tonight, you're about to boost, boost, boost. Um, to the, um, uh... okay, I'm getting notes. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting name notes. So I, I can't pay attention to this right now. I'll laugh. Um, you're about to boost with the notes you're going to take tonight. Everybody on this list, you're all going to fly through. We're going to have to start adding success club 50 to this board. Um, so I hope you have pad and paper out cause I am ready to take notes and I'm hosting this sucker tonight. And these notes are going to go right here, right by my desk. Uh, but I mean, look at that 14 through 44. We have people that are on the board. That means you've had some success. The great thing about having success, if you made one success club point, that means you can make two, which means you can make five to 10, 15, 20. Once you've done something once, you can do it again, right? That's awesome. So uh, let's talk about rank advancements. We have three new shiny Emerald coaches, Heather Edwards, Elise, Alyssa, Alyssa Ricker, and Michelle Fox. Congratulations, ladies. That's so exciting because it Emerald, you start getting free customers, you start qualifying for leads, um, you have team bonuses, so much that you can uh, that you can plug into, and that's really where the business kind of takes off is right there at Emerald. Um, so let's talk about July promotions. There's still, guys, T25 Challenge Pack. I, I can tell you right now, I've been, I've been kind of promoting it as a, hey, I've been asked by Beachbody to put together a test group for this new program to see if these results are legit. Uh, I'm sure... Clarissa will have some, some amazing tips on ways that she's got people's attention also, but I know this test group thing saying, hey, look, 
I've been asked by the CEO and Sean T to put together a test group to see if this program works as well for people in their homes as it did for our controlled test group in New York City. Um, would you be willing to help me with that? And then if they say yes, I'm always, you know, normally these products and, and, and your, your supplies would cost you over $300 because you've stepped up and you're helping us this test group. We have it on sale for you right now for $180 just as a thank you for us to you um, for helping us out with this test group. Just another way to put it. Um, and so maybe for somebody that, that that's a big light. That's, oh, I never thought to, um, to package it that way. Vanilla Shakeology, uh, I would go back. I would uh, touch base with all my previous Shakeology customers. Who knows? You could have two or three people adding an extra home direct. Maybe they want Shakeology bag in addition to the chocolate they're already enjoying or in addition uh, to the tropical. And those of you plugged into a team cup, I really hope that you're plugged in, that you're working together in those teams. Uh, I would love to hear on the crew wall what's working. Uh, give some feedback. This is what I'm struggling with in my team. This is what's working really, really well. And I would love for the entire team, for the entire crew, to be able to benefit from those teams that are off and rocking and rolling. Um, okay, so this is where the part where I have to find Clarissa. I'm going to unmute her. You did. Oh, okay, wait. I can I'm hear here. you. Now can I find your webcam? That's what I'm looking for now. Do you I, have a webcam? I'm, Are we going to do this I on? do. You do? No, I do. Okay, hold Hi, on. Hi, guys. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Where are you? Hold on. I can hear you. Now we just got to get to seeing you. Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. I see webcams over here. Hold on. Do I need to do something? Yeah, if you no. if you click webcam, go to start sharing my webcam. Oh, I don't see that. Uh, let me see if I can do something over here. Sorry, guys. Hold on one second. No, that's um, fine. File. Where? Slide so they can see your beautiful face here on the slide. Dude, I'm in a baseball cap, just keeping it real. Okay, we, we can always work with that right there too. <laughs> Look at you. I mean, you're all sassy in those pictures. Oh uh, yeah. Um, let's see. I see unmute fuel. Fuel screen, fuel screen, full screen. Um, honestly, guys, I don't know where to. I see webcams, but what it says to me is where I want it. Webcam is top left, bottom or right, but it doesn't say um, to open it up. So I'm. Oh. It doesn't. You don't have the option to share my webcam on the on the webcam drop down. I uh, what? No, I don't. I really don't. I'm sorry. Hold it on. says hide webcam. Which, Make presenter, make a panelist. Let's see what happens right here. Okay. I'm learning like you are at the same time. See? Look how this business works. It's just learn and do. Did that change anything? Oh, did I just make her go away? Oh, now I can't hear her at all. Oh, wait a second. Oh, wait a second. We have liftoff. Wait, I can't hear you, though. Can you guys still hear me? Audio, audio, audio. Okay. Looks like I'm still on. Do you have a mute, unmute? Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, 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 hold on. Attendee list. Oh, hold on. Unmute Clarissa. Now try. Can you hear me? Yes! Hello, hello? We have liftoff! <laughs> <laughs> Technology works. It's yeah. awesome. Awesome. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so, I, see my I love it. I love it. I love it when this stuff works. Okay, no guys. Kidding. No um, kidding. Remember that you can uh, post questions. Oh, wait, wait. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. I got a thousand people saying yes. Okay, I'm going to erase all that. Um, so, as you guys have questions as we go along, post those in the questions. I'll get to those in a second. Um, I'm just going to go through and talk a little bit about. Clarissa, um, because I've been, we've, we haven't known each other that long. Disney trip, we got a chance to kind of chit chat. I had heard about, I'd heard the legend O oh, Clarissa from Carl Dyke no! himself uh, when he came one of our Super Saturdays. And I think Clarissa, you actually came to that same Super Saturday. You had just signed up as a coach, I think. And, um, and I'm just going to read off a few stats that Clarissa gave me today. Uh, she oh, signed boy. up as a coach December 17th. 
So that's not even, that's a little over six and a half months ago. Uh, in December 17th, before the end of the year, she earned a free trip to Disney because in the last two weeks of the year, so remember, signed up in December 17th, she had till December 31st, she totaled 85 success club points to be the leader in the entire network in her first two weeks and earn a free trip to Disney, which I'm so glad she did because we had an amazing <laughs> afternoon to sit and chit chat and talk. And I learned so much about this amazing lady and she's just a cool friend and I'm stoked to have her around. Um, so far this year, she has, I'm going to brag on you so you don't have to brag on yourself. Um, Aww, so far yeah. this year, she has 285 success club points. So far this month, she has 58 success club points this month. Uh, she's a two-star qualifying coach. And um, within January and February, she had already had enough success club points to pay for her cruise uh, that we're all trying to earn money for for March. So, um, Clarissa, welcome and thank you. Hi. <laughs> thank you so much for having me. I, I really love helping as much as I can. Um, I told Jimmy about literally 30 minutes ago, I was like, dude, I'm dyeing my hair. So that's hence the cap right now. <laughs> cool. Welcome, um, here. And, uh, <laughs> and um, I'm grateful to be here and I hope that whatever I share with you helps you become a better coach because ultimately the more you put the word out the more it helps me it helps him it helps Jimmy because the more we can spread the names of these programs it only benefits all of us so if anything I can share helps I'm all for it well I think the thing that the, the, the way we kind of position this call is we I, I dubbed you the queen of the clothes and what I hear from our <laughs> coaches a whole lot is they're getting the word out they have people interested. They kind of have the tire kickers, but they're getting frustrated because they go either through a lot of these back and forth emails that emotionally can be draining when that person either disappears or decides yeah. not to commit. And so as a new coach and you yeah. came in and there were two things that we, that I'd love for you to touch on, um, that I, that I thought was so key in, in our conversation earlier today was how you hit the ground running without necessarily knowing everything there was to know about the business. And then um, maybe a few tips on <laughs> yeah. how, how to avoid those, like what you do with those people that may be tire kickers and how you've, you've been able to attract and close so many people uh, in such a short amount of time. Okay, cool. Um, first and foremost, when I came into December, um, just a little bit of background on me. I came to Beachbody because I had gotten out of the shape or gotten out of shape and I had been unemployed for about 11 months. And long story short, just a lot of adversity. Anytime you lose a job or income, it freaks you out. I gained a little bit of weight, and I heard about the Shakeology. Heard about I had done Insanity before. It was a little too hard for me, but um, I came to Beachbody as a way to get healthy. And um, I tried Greenberry, and I tried all the flavors, and I thought, you know, I've got, I've got to make this work. I want to find something that's good for me because. Uh, Long story short, previous to this Shakeology drink, I was making my own shakes at home, and it looked like you know earth in a cup. It was just not good. It was just like all those things you buy in the vitamin. Um, and then I had a pretty big network of friends on Facebook, and I thought, you know what? I'm pretty good at motivating and inspiring people, but I need them now because I'm wanting to get back to my group. So December 17th, I joined in as a coach, and I thought, you know what? <laughs> I've been unemployed, so I'll tell you what. I'm going to do this beach body thing until I find a job and that was my theory so um, I put it out there like a week before January 1st and said hey guys look I'm getting into shape New Year's right around the corner I don't want to go into the new year um, 10 pounds ahead I, I wouldn't mind going in 10 pounds behind you know getting a head start I put it out there and, and I, it lit off um, I had no idea really what um, the back office was so I'm mean, being very honest here. All I know is the challenge packs were coupons. So I thought, dude, if you're going to do a program, do the challenge pack because it's got the shakes and it's got the programs. Um, there's no sense in buying Shakeology and there's no sense in buying P90X2 because you're going to pay a whole lot more money, dude. I'm like, you know, and I'm, I'm duding you because that's just the way I talk to my friends. And they're like, okay. And um, all of a sudden I get an email from Carl um, out of nowhere going, okay, who are you? And I'm like, I don't know uh, what you're talking about, but you know, I'm like, is this spam? And uh, he says, dude, you're, you're, I mean, he was like, your numbers are amazing. And I said, well, you know, I really, really appreciate it. I love health and fitness. And uh, he invited me to my first Super Saturday, which is how I met Jimmy. Um, at that time, I had found out that I had won the trip to Orlando, but I didn't really know what that was. 
I thought I was getting spam from Beachbody saying that I had won a trip. And I was like, yeah. So I deleted it. And then I got another email from the back office saying, hey, you won success club points. And I was like, well, what's that? And she basically told me, you look in your back office. And I, I'm going to sound really elementary here. I was like, well, what's the back office? And where do I go? And they're like, dude, <laughs> you need help. And uh, so I got a little bit of coaching. Um, Carl had sent a Beachbody coach my way and said, he's going to walk you through your back office. And that's kind of where I got started. And that was kind of a long answer to the beginning. And that's, awesome. that's yeah, and so I was on fire in January. I had like another 80 success club points. Um, I just kept going strong, kept going strong, and then kind of slowed down a little bit there just because uh, March and uh, April and May were some, uh, just, just some personal months for me. But um, question number two, which I think is the most important question that Jimmy just asked here, he said, how do you deal with tire kickers? Well, honestly, I don't. Um, my theory is is that I, I do not do the back and forth emails at all. If somebody emails me, I give them the information and they'll come back with me with you know just a long, I, you all know what those are, those emails that are very, very draining. And I don't have time for that. Like that old poster, I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> you know, money is time. Time is money. And I'm not going to go back and forth with you. Um, if y'all do go lo look back on my posts, um, the one thing that I am is I'm a straight shooter. I pretty much just put it out there. I'm like, um, you know, what I'm looking for and what I want. And typically when somebody emails me, um, I know it's a, it's a sell. I know I can do it because the way I present myself. Um, what I have noticed with some of the posts out there, and this is just my, this is just my five cents. I was talking to Kobe the other day. And he says, how do you do it? And I said, well, and I hope this makes sense to you, so I'm going to do my very best to explain it and just go. The way you word your posts make all the difference. If you use words like try, could, can, should, every one of those words is a shadow of a doubt. So if you're like, you know, um, I'm running a challenge group, and if you think that you want to get in shape, let me know. I might have a program to help you get there. There is nothing about that post that's action-oriented. Nothing about what is written there makes me want to dive on and get healthy. What you're doing is you're essentially coddling my fence sitting, is what I call it. Um, we have a million, you know, however, you know, 80% of America is overweight, so we're not at a loss for that, you know, uh, ability to transform and change lives. You have to be very direct in your posts. You can't put anything in your posts that give me um, that kind of that wishy-washy because I'm already a wishy-washy person. If I wanted to get in shape, I would have already done it. So I need somebody to take charge. Um, I used this example with Kobe yesterday. Um, you know, you, do, you wouldn't want to go have surgery by a doctor who says, you know, I think my surgery might work for you. You need somebody who knows what they're doing. So you need to have conviction and confidence in what you're doing. So if I wrote a post that said, hey, I'm starting a challenge group, and I'm excited. I want four people. Love to have you. We'll make all the changes. Mm, I'd read that and probably just scroll right past it. But if I wrote something that says, I will get you in shape. I will get you the results. 10 weeks, 25 minutes, 30 pounds, that's it. Be very direct in how you write your words. Um, the other one, too, that I've noticed that people write, um, other Beachbody coaches, is they always have challenge groups. And this is, again, this is just me. When you create a date, like, you know, I have a challenge group starting July 8th or July 15th or something like that, you're giving yourself a cutoff date. So, if somebody is fence-sitting, July 8th, if it comes and goes, you've lost an opportunity to sell a challenge pack, which means, here's my theory, life's a challenge. I'll never run a challenge group. I'll run one big group every single day, every day. I have a goal for myself to sell five challenge packs a day, and I usually hit it because I'm constantly going. And the momentum that I already have with the older people that are doing the program are the best inspiration and motivation for the new people coming in because the fire is going in the group. So my group is right about 450 right now. 
and they're going strong. And it's kind of like that row, row, row your boat. It's constantly overlapping. So I never run a group and I never give myself a cutoff date because I think I'll sell a challenge pack all day long every day, not by, you know, a certain date. That was a long answer. <laughs> no, I think it's pretty, I'm, I'm going to stop you just for a second because I want to make sure people, um, yeah, yeah. Um, I want to make sure people caught a few things because I got big circles. If you've noticed, my head has been down in writing this entire time. Um, and I all slow down because I realize I talk fast. <laughs> no. Well, I, I'm in Texas with you, so I can follow. So it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing that jumped off the page at me was you said challenge packs are coupons. I love that because it doesn't make Yeah, sense. it's a one-time coupon. Dude, and, yeah. and if you look at it this way, if you look at the at the 180 thing right now, okay, I, and I, I even worded something like this the other day. It's like right now if you're going to jump in to get T25, we're going to offer you Shakeology for half off. I mean because that's what that basically comes into, that 180. Oh, Sure. You can shake all the you half off or a coupon. That's even a better way. I'd never thought of it in the coupon form, but Stephen, that's awesome. Um, the second mm -hmm. thing is she didn't know her back office. She didn't know what team bonuses were. She, I've seen so many coaches that feel like, well, I need to understand everything. And what I loved is you weren't scared to reach out to your current network. The, one of the first things you said, mm -hmm. you said, I had a lot of friends on Facebook. I thought, who am I going to do this with? And I hear coach after coach after coach that are, that are timid to reach out to that network of people that they've already created. And I always find it funny that I find people that on Instagram or Facebook or whatever are willing to talk all day long about their fitness and then they become a coach and they clam up because they don't want to bother yeah. anybody. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can I add to that real quick? Please do. Just to add to what he just said is like I post all day long and I'll talk about post strategies later because it works like a genius. But what I've realized is those people that clam up, you need to just be out there. Just put it out there. Be yourself. If you took on this job, have conviction. Be confident in what you're doing. You've got the results. You know the products are good. Be strong. Be so confident because the confidence is ridiculously attractive. I put my stuff out all day long. And let me tell you, and I say this humbly and, and, and laughing, I was the biggest dork in high school. I didn't have very many friends. You would not believe how many people from high school are now texting me. I have just as big high school group from people that are looking to get in shape because they'll say, just because someone doesn't like your post or comment on it or say anything, it doesn't mean they're not watching you. I've gotten so many people that said, look, I've been watching you for two weeks. What do I need to do? I need to lose 40 pounds or 50 pounds or you know whatever the number is. So never, ever dictate your value and what you're putting out by likes and comments because I'm learning now. <laughs> I'm selling more now with less likes and comments. And so I just want to say that. No, that's, that's awesome. Um, I love the, the, the straight shooter in your Facebook post. I've been guilty of that. The might, the what, the coulda, shoulda, try. I use the word try a lot and I'm like, oh, that is so weak. I know better than that. Mm -hmm. um, and it's all these, it's this sub, it's what you're saying with kind of between the words to people. And I thought that's so, you made such a great point. Most people are already fence sitters. Don't enable their fence sittingness, if that's a word. Um, that's exactly what it is. And then, uh, yeah. go ahead. Now, I was going to say, you know, and also, too, like I'll also read on a lot of the posts, people will put their little three to four sentences in there and they'll end it with, message me. No. Don't message him. Don't, don't write message me, okay? Because here's what I'm going to say. If Jimmy was watching my page for a week and I wrote a page today that says 10 weeks, 25 minutes a day, I got one guy 67 pounds down. Um, I'm so direct in my words, I'll never put message me because when you put message me, it takes away from the, oh, 67 pounds? Wow, I want to join him. Ugh. Because if you leave the person kind of hanging like on the edge of their seat with all your fun, direct information, you're going to get emails all day long. Um, I believe that you just put enough out there, like like a fishing lure, <laughs> put enough out there, and as soon as they come in, I know it's a sold deal because the way I presented myself. It's not, there's, and I've even, re I've even written that in my post. I said, look, ladies, get real. You've got all the time in the world. you got 25 minutes. That's as long as it takes you to go to Starbucks or watch a TV show. Um, I can get you in shape. I can change up your plan. Um, I can help you lose up to, you know, because all the pictures with T25 are up to 67 pounds. So I just kind of play with some of those numbers um, and it works. It works every single time. I think that's great. Um, the other thing that, that I loved and it goes, and you don't even know this, but something we do with our team at the crew is I love the fact that you're like, 
I don't necessarily have a start date for my challenge groups. And what we've done is we have um, crew wide community groups. So we have a big Shanti group, a big Tony group, a big Shalene group that are constantly running. And one of the things I love about that is you're taking your new person and putting them in a beach body shake off oh. friendly environment already. Cause everybody oh, yeah. in the group's oh, yeah. already on fire, you know? And so I love the fact oh, that, yeah. that you and I do that similar. We've never talked about that, but that's something yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that we do <laughs> at the same time. And hopefully you guys that are right. listening, whether it's T25 or anything else, you're taking advantage of those crew community groups because the minute you as one coach or you as your small five person challenge group, and it, it's up to you to keep the fire going. If you have a gigantic furnace you can just throw them into and all these people are already excited, it makes your job as a coach, especially a new coach, so much easier. Also, too, I want to add this. and I know we have different age groups on this phone call and everybody's listening, but here's just my solid, solid putting out there. 80% of America is overweight. The majority of them are 35 to 55 years old. Those are married couples with a couple of kids getting a rut, going to soccer practice, taking a little honey to gymnastics, whatever you're doing, you're busy. The number one issue is time. I, you can mark my words on this call right here, 738. T25 will be the number one program in this world the next two years, and no one will touch it. It will, it will surpass Insanity. It will pass P90X and any programs out there. Why? Because time is the number one issue. Money is not really one an, an issue because the fact is, is that when somebody's ready to get in shape, money is never an issue. I can tell you that right now because when you want it bad enough, You'll spend whatever it takes, just feel good and look good. But overall, just my experience, people are like, oh, 45 minutes of insanity, you got to be kidding me. And there's a dejection that comes with it when somebody is already super overweight. So knowing that they can watch that clock go down on T25 is like 235. I was doing the same thing this morning. I was working out going, oh, I've got a minute and 13 left and I am done. Mm -hmm. That is so attractive for people today. We got we live in a very, very instant gratification world. People want results fast. They want their food fast. They want everything fast. If they can get results in 25 minutes and 10 weeks, you're going to have before and after pictures all day long to promote your group. Um, and oh, one more thing I'm going to add. Another thing I noticed with Beachbody coaches, um, a lot of times people will use their pictures like a lot of coaches use their pictures. I don't want to know about you. I want to see what you've done with your people. Show me who looks good in your group. I know you look good. I can tell by your pictures. I know you're a Beachbody coach and you look amazing and you've gotten amazing results. I'm inspired by you, so I'm already watching you. But I don't want to see pictures of you all day long. I want to see pictures of Susie Q, who's a stay-at-home mom and has three kids and lost weight. I want to see a picture of a dad who's, you know, uh, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Show me in your group who's getting success. That's attractive. That's identifiable. People can identify with what they know and see when they see daddy of three kids get in shape. And guys, it doesn't necessarily even have to be your customer. You have those crew community groups. You can go in there and pull stories and testimonies from anybody. Yeah. That's another reason we have them. And that's a, yeah. you'll see in my slide here at the end is that's why I'm still asking for your success stories also in the crew right. or people that you're working with. Cause if you, if you watch my coach, Jimmy, my coach, Jimmy Facebook page, and I used to post something about a program every day. And I was talking to Kelly and I was like, I want to change this. Anytime we promote a program, I want a regular picture of a regular person, not one that not really one even from corporate. I just want a regular picture with a testimony. And then may, you know, and I said, that's what I want to promote the, the program. So right. like the other day, you, there was a picture that Kareem and I took it at, um, at Summit of us squatting after he did one Tai Chang program. Amazing story. And so that's how I shared Tai Chang that day is like, look at my friend, struggles with MS, one bout with Tai Chang that day, he's squatting with me. And I had more comments right. of people like, whoa, because you're telling stories. And what do we always go back to, you guys? Story, 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 stories. So, Clarissa, how do you continue to – I'll get to your – I see the questions lining up over here on the right. Yeah. What Do you have a strategy in to continue to um, reach out to new people constantly? Is, do you, is it that they're finding you because of the buzz you've created, or do you do something to get outside mm -hmm. of even that Facebook group that you initially had? Right now, I just use Facebook. It's really good for me because I stay on fire all day long. I'm like, I don't need to fix what's not broken. Sure. Um, right now, it's working for me, so I just continue to go strong. But now, I'm getting tons of emails from people. They're like, you know, my sister's in your group. She's lost 13 pounds. Or, 
Um, you know, I saw your story today. How can I get in shape? Um, some people are just like, I'm getting new followers every single day. I'm averaging about 50 new followers a day just on my personal page, um, which is good because, yeah, because what it does is just telling me. I mean, I get a lot of beach body coaches um, following me. Oh, I have to say this because I think this is really good for you guys that are listening right now. Don't. <laughs> okay. When you share, like if Jimmy makes a badass post, and you click to share it and say, join me now, I've got my group going, and you basically are directing them to Jimmy's message, you know, to inspire them. What it tells me is that you're enabled to create a post to inspire me that you have to share someone else's. To me, it doesn't look good. It doesn't show confidence in you. Unless the post is directed to just something amazing, but if you're um, riding someone's post to try to get leads or um, sales, it's honestly not a good idea. In, in my opinion, to me, it doesn't show a strong coach. It shows someone who's able to create their own verbiage and put out that fire and that energy that people want to see from you. And, I, and I'm going to piggyback on that also. And that's not to say you can't share the same story. So sure, like, absolutely. Like talked about, but the people that follow you, especially those that know you, know your voice. And I, and I always say that the coaches that have the most success with this find ways to like Clarissa was like, yeah, I just duded you because that's how I talk. Like if I can hear you through your post, you're doing a good job, you know, and it's right. always trying to be cut and clean. So even if it's like literally when I've gone to write a post before, I've taken out my, my voice thing on my phone and I'll talk into it. Like, how would I say this? And that's how my post comes out, you know, um, right. Because so far, I think we get, you know, there's all the grammar Nazis out there that everything needs to be. And people just want real. People want real, want real, yeah. want real. So I think I think that's great. Um, can I, can and I, real, go ahead. I was going to say, speak, speaking from the heart and being real is way more attractive than reading, you know, like some of these posts that go on and on about, you know, um, high interval training or contents in a bag. To be honest with you, people just want to lose weight. Tell yeah. them how they can lose weight and Does just speak work. to their heart. You don't, big words don't really matter because, you know, I can talk to somebody about Shisandra and they shake and they're like, what? Yeah. But if I said, hey, this will help you get in shape and, and that's what they identify with. And that's why people will take shakes with crappy, shitty ingredients because at the end of the day, a lot of people don't care. They just want to know that it works. You yeah, know? That's exactly um, it. What's cool is that we can have the integrity to say, look, our stuff's the best. But I would lead with story. So I have some great questions here, if you don't mind, if we can run through a couple of these real quick. Ah. Um, Clarissa, what do you do when someone gives you some sort of lack of money excuse when you're trying to sell them? So you sent that, you sent, you said you sent that email with all the info and your res the response is, I'd love to, I just don't have the money right now. What is the Clarissa response to that? I totally understand. Let me know when you got things covered and I'll be right here for you. I love Done. that. I don't mess around. <laughs> I can't go back and forth. So you don't even try yeah, to handle I, that. You don't even try to handle that objection. It's like, cool. You know, no, what I I'm, me, I'm on. Yeah, I, I just simply say I totally understand. I'm not going to coddle behaviors because, again, what at the end of the day, when somebody really wants to lose weight, they're going to make it happen. And I had actually I had two people tell me last week I really don't have the money, and I'm like, okay, well, let me know. I understand. I'll be here for you when you're ready. They bought a challenge pack that night. So it wasn't about money, and the lady told me, she goes, you know, honestly, it wasn't about really about money. It was just I realized that I'm, it was just another program for me to try and wasn't really going to work. You know, everybody has their own reasons, but um, yeah. yeah. I, dude, that, that's so money. In, in fact, I, I, I'll, I'll peel back the curtain a little bit. I, I had a, a money or something objection, and, and sometimes Kelly and I would go through emails, and she'll go, hey, I need you to respond to these. So I'm being the talker, and she being the better, like, check my grammar. I will sit and like dictate, okay, these are our answers and right. some price objection. And I was given an email and I was like, I said, you know what stinks about this? I said, I'm going to have a better answer tonight after Clarissa tells me how she responds to these things. <laughs> um, so uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, do, 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 do. And, and one more thing, let me just yeah. add to the money thing. When I, when I say that, when I say, you know, I totally understand, I'm, I'm, I'm validating their, their, I'm validating them. I'm saying, you know, I totally understand, but I'll be here when you're ready. Um, I'm not being rude and I'm not trying to discount what they're saying. I'm just simply saying that it's just cut and dry. I got to move along. And 
I lost my train of thought there, but it'll come back. Just give me go ahead. <laughs> uh, Kobe's asking if you want to share once once they're in your groups and have bought the pack, what information and how much of your time do you give in your groups? I have an answer for this, but I want to hear yours first. It's all good. Usually the minute um, somebody buys a challenge pack, so let's just say Jimmy buys a challenge pack, first thing I do is I add him to my group. I introduce him to my group and say, hey, guys, welcome Jimmy Hayes Nelson. He's our newest T25er, re ready to smoke, you know, whatever whatever comes out of my mouth at the time. Right. My group is on it like flies. And then um, I typically will call every single person who buys a challenge pack within three to five days and help them feel good about what they've done. Um, I figure that I can spend 30 minutes with them and let them know you can do this. You're in the best support group. We're all about positivity. There's no, we're all about just getting results. Um, oh, let me say this too. It, my thought just came back to me a while ago when we were talking about the money issue and I say I totally understand. Let me know. Um, I'll always be here for you. That's a confidence in your own value. What you're simply saying is, okay, I get it move along when you write back and say that to me my instant reaction is like wow okay um okay and the next thing you know they're gonna sell the more confidence you have the better you will do I can assure you of that no doubt so awesome let's uh let's keep looking here yeah John made a good point John made a good point here about what you were we were talking about about the share if you, all you do is go to my site and click share, nine times out of ten, it's going to oh, yeah. link them back to my page. You know, it's they're going to forego. Right. They want to know where the where did the where did this thing originate? Uh, Let me. I want to add to that real quick. So, who's ever listening? I wrote a post the other day, and it was very blunt, straightforward, and actually kind of funny. And I did very well with that post. I had I had quite a bit of response and challenge pack sales. And I wrote in there. My sentence was, <laughs> I said, "Look, I'm as nice as can be. I'm sweet as honey, but I'll get your ass in a shape." That's nice. Oh, man. Okay, but let me tell you, this one guy who's a beach body coach keeps sharing his stuff. He shared my stuff and just copied and pasted it on his page. I'm like, do you realize you just called yourself sweet as honey, you know, on your page? Because you, you're, you're like, yeah, making a point. There. <laughs> Gotta be you, because I, because if I totally. just went as, as much as I value the things I'm learning help from Clarissa and a lot of things I'm writing verbatim the words she would say. I'm not going to go use her words. I can take the I can take the tactics. I can take some of the verbiage, but it's exactly still the day. People know when you're not you. You know, oh, gosh, if yeah. you're not a real yeah. boisterous person or whatever, and and your friends are like, who is this person? Like, be you. And, and Shalene told me this the other day. Be you, but be a bolder version of you. Like, be a bigger version. Absolutely. Of you, you know. Absolutely. Uh, Hands down. Don't be afraid. Just go for it. Yeah. Uh, Bev asks, how often do you post about a program or Shakeology a day on your personal page? Ah, my favorite question. Okay, and this is very, very important. I hope everybody really listens to this. New page. Everything is about <laughs> <laughs> everything is about strategy. It's all strategy. Now, I'm going to use myself as an example. Together with my followers and friends, I have about five thousand people. If you don't know this already, you should really sink this in. When you make a post, only 10% of your followers and friends actually see that post. So let's just say at 7 a.m. I make a post. I know that that's only visible to 500 people. Of those 500, I don't know who's up at 7. It could be only 100. Mm -hmm. And then that means that they have to be online. So it may only be 25. So then maybe 13 may like it. My point, your comments, I'm sorry, your posts are strategically done through the system to hit different different ten percent. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like you can make a post at seven, a twelve, one, three, and seven, and the same people will not make it visible. Like the same people will not see that post. Depends on who's online, who's not online. So when you think that you're nailing out your page with posts, sometimes I only see one post from somebody's page and they posted like 25 times. Like I used to call Deepak Chopra. He was like a compulsive tweeter, but I would only see like one of it. So he tweets all day long. He posts all day long. Uh, Joel Olstein posts all day long, but I usually only see one of his messages just because when I'm online, very, very smart. Promote your post. If you promote your post, it's only six bucks and you have reached your audience of 25%. Of the people throughout the day, meaning that 
post will stick on the board for a while. That's really, really smart. Um, and what I figure is that if I promote three posts a day throughout the day, that's only 18, uh, sorry, seven, $21 out of my pocket. But if I've sold, like, before I went to vacation last weekend, I was averaging 11 challenge packs a day. I paid myself back. It's no yeah. big deal. I look at it as a, I look at it as, a, as an advertising budget. And, and oh if, yeah, that's so, totally right. If we're honestly treating this like a business, if you are your own CEO, does Carl have an advertising budget? Yes. Like, why wouldn't yeah. you have an advertising budget? In fact, um, and and uh, you know, there for a while, I, I just figured out, okay, what's ten percent of what I was earning, and so that's what I started with. And right. so, if you see, right. you know, I've used Facebook ads in the past. I do promoted posts. Now as well, um, for those of you with actual like like pages, you can even get up to where they'll let you promote big numbers uh, if that's something you choose to do. But I think that's great. And also, I'm going to add something to that, Clarissa, is I think a lot of people get nervous because they're like, maybe you're posting three or four times a day. And and keep personal. Like you like you got to have personal stuff in there well. So it's not oh, all yeah. boost buddy oh, all day yeah. long. But right. if one person says boo about, I, if I hear about Shakeology one more time, I'm like, then peace. Awesome. That's what I'm passionate about. I got to listen to you right. post about Farmville all damn day long. So uh, why? Candy crush. You know, <laughs> and, yeah, right. So why am I going to let one person who was offended by the fact that I talk about health and fitness a lot stop me? Are we like, are we in this thing? Are we, are we prideful in what we do? Or is the first, and so many people are watching you. To see if you're sticking with this. The first if the first right. boo scares you off, then was it that real in the first place? So that's my right. two cents about that. I don't I actually like I've never had this issue, but my theory is is that if you if you've offended someone or they're sick of hearing about Shake All your insanity, it's because you touched on something within them that they can't confront. So I don't really care. Ooh, that's good. Okay, okay. Next question. Yeah. I, I wanna roll I wanna roll through this one. Um Kristen asks, I'd love to know what she says to folks who are very fit and say they eat clean and are like hitting smoothie kings and stuff already, think they're kind of better than Shakeology. What would you say to someone like that? Show me your product and I'll, I'll tell you about – show me your product. I'm confident in the product. Yeah. I don't really care. It's like there's nothing on – I've looked at everything from – I mean, I've had every shake on the planet, Metrix, EAS, Myoplex, uh, Muscle Milk, um, some, you know, every single shake I have tried. I've done enough research, body by everything. Yep. Show me your shake. Show me why your shake Show is Show me great. your shake. Show me your shake. <laughs> I got this. And it's, again, it's confidence. I'm confident. I don't uh, so we already kind of touched on managing the group. Also, I want to touch about, guys, remember on the crew community groups, Kelly and her assistant, Megan, have gone through and we have the post from the back office, like the the scheduled posts. We've taken care of all that for you. We're about to start the same in the Sean group. We're about to start the T25 post. So all the videos, the daily posts, we've taken care of that for you. So all you have to do is go take care of your people and make sure that they're taken care of. So I've seen that a, right. uh, a couple times. Uh, did something happen? No. Um, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, so do you use do you print do you have a like a, a like or a business page or is this all through your personal Facebook page? This is all through my personal page. I do have a business page, but I found myself getting a lot of um, just my experience kind of um, uh, perverts. Like there was not a conversion. Like it was just people going, "Ooh, she's hot." I don't have time for that. You know what? I'd, I'd rather just work off of my personal page, and that's where my personality really shines. I have to say this because you just said something a while ago, and I, I'm on it right now. He, Jimmy's totally right. You can be beach body all day long, but throw some personal in, in stuff in there because it shows that you're human. Be human. Just put some – everything I put out is either to inspire health, fitness, or laughter. What you write on your page is a huge indication of who you are. I had a beach body coach come to me two weeks ago, and she was like, you know, I've been watching you, and I would love to have you as my coach. I don't know what's going wrong. I can't get my business up and running. And I was like, okay, sure. You know, I, I don't know who your upline is, but I, I don't step on toes. But um, I'll, I'll take a peek, and we'll touch base. I went and looked at her page, and all she did was gripe about her boyfriend in traffic. Sorry, that doesn't inspire me. I want nothing to do with you. For real. What you put out is your spiritual fingerprint. Whatever you're writing is exactly who you are. And if you're writing, like, I can say with absolute confidence, and I know this, I know this, you can go back to the day I started Facebook. 
and there's not one post on there that insults, harms, is religious, political, um, nothing that would do anything to challenge another person. I'm very middle of the road, but I will either inspire, motivate, or make you laugh. And I, and I also I tell that if another thing that's a great way to edify what we do as coaches and with the team, with the groups, is to be human of, man, yesterday had that cheeseburger, totally, you know, went out to have oh, yeah. whatever. So thankful for my support group that I'm plugged into. They helped me got back on track today because I hear it all the time. Started insanity, fell off track. I lost motivation. I'm off the wagon. And if you can show how, it's not that we don't mess up, just we as coaches and the people in our group correct faster. That's the magic is that we correct factor, not that we're perfect, you know? Yeah. I'll be the first to write down, I'm drinking a margarita and having a great time with my boyfriend. But what I will say is that your words about how, man, I screwed up, I don't feel good. Everybody needs to take a moment, if they can, and really, really, I'll find the book and I'll send it to Jimmy. There's a thing called neuro-linguistic programming. Neuro-linguistic programming are the words that stick to someone's mind. The minute you say, don't touch that stove, all you hear is don't. It's just don't. Those are stop words. Mm -hmm. You don't want stop words in your writing. Be very cautious with the words you write. You have to be extremely intelligent, thoughtful, and considerate of how the receiver sees your message. If you put something in there that's negative, it's honestly like that's what you're, without saying it wrong, that's what you're breeding. You're breeding just more of the negativity. Right. And, um, and it can be in any, I mean, there's words that people, because I could look at posts all day long and go, nope, 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 <laughs> you know. I think Tony, Ro is, Tony Robbins talks a lot about that too. Um, uh, NLP is huge, and yeah. I use a lot of it. I use a lot of it. Um, yeah, it's very <laughs> powerful. Two more quick questions here. Um, one, Jamil asks, and Jamil is, you know, he's a little different because he's a, he's a full-time physician, but he's asking how many hours a day do you spend oh, wow. with Beachbody? Okay. Um, uh, hours a day do I spend, I'm sorry, the last word was Beachbody? With yeah, Beachbody? like, so how much, how much time do you spend on your business? Now, obviously different being a full-time um, coach, but. I do, I do time blocking. Here's my theory. Um, I, uh, I wake up in the morning around 5, 5.30. I'm a coffee drinker. During that time, I'll kind of scan a little bit. I'll get my motivation rolling. I'll throw out a few posts. I usually have one to motivate, one to inspire, and one to be silly. Um, I'll promote one of those. And then I'll go work out, and then I'll come back, and I'm hyper-focused for four hours. Nobody interrupts me. At that moment in time, I am focusing on emails, uh, leads, whatever you want to call it, um, replying to everybody, firing up people, motivating, and then about the fifth hour is when I kind of start jumping on the phone calls. So I'll do phone calls for a couple of hours. I make my phone calls short and sweet, to the point, punchy, fun, um, and leave them happier than I found them. And then at night, before I go to bed, I'll put out a few more posts, and I usually have a copy and paste, so if in my bed I can just send them a quick email or reply. Um, I spent some time, one of my mentors, his name is Gary Keller, he owns Keller Williams, he's a 15 oh, yeah. billionaire, and he's, yeah. So a couple weeks ago I went and spent with Gary Keller, and this is to me is a huge, um, huge tip for me. He has a book called The One Thing, get that book, it's a brilliant. The One Thing is 15 bucks and brilliant, and he teaches you about time management. But here's what I will say, and I'm trying to speak fast because I know we're on time here. To me. <laughs> Um, I, I look at it like this. Today, I've eaten well. I've eaten flawless today. I follow the fast track day one. I've eaten T20. I mean, I've done T25. I'll be in bed at a normal hour. And what I know about Clarissa, and you'll find your strengths too. Work on your strengths. Don't try to build a weakness. Who cares about your weaknesses? I suck at math. I will always suck at math. I work on my strengths, which is motivation and inspiring. I know that in the morning when I wake up and I'm having my coffee, that's when my battery is fully charged. I'm like, ready to go. I will go strong. I will go hard all morning long. And as the day progresses, you get tired. You're just kind of wearing down a little bit. That's a natural, natural thing for you. Eat well. Sleep tight. It's like a cell phone. You have the full battery power in the morning, and then you just go down throughout the day. Allow that to be, you know, and find your strengths and, and maximize those. And I know that um, mine is motivation inspiring. So I, I love that on two points because that's something I had to switch as a coach is I was trying to power. We all figure out where our peak times of the day is. And I was finding that I was, oh, trying, yeah. I was trying to fight through and work at times that that wasn't my peak hour. So like when I wrap this call, I'm done. I'm done for the night because I'm just not. Sure. I, I'll, oh, put me too. <laughs> I'll put together an Instagram post before bed maybe. 
But as yeah. far as emails and stuff like that, like I suck at night because I like you get up at five in the morning and I'm rocking and rolling. And that's the yeah. other thing is figure out what it is that your strengths like right now. I've, I've been really, shaleen has been on my butt about Jimmy, you're good on video. Why don't you make a video a day? And I'm like, right. uh, you know, what is it that you do well and, and find ways to, right. um, to, uh, to magnify that and everybody don't say I don't do anything well because everybody has something they're in yeah, I'll tell it. well. So last question is, and I, and I think okay. we already kind of touched on this because I touched on this about taking stories from the community groups and stuff. But <laughs> Kathy asked, Clarissa, you hit the ground running. Where did you pull that confidence from in the beginning when you hadn't helped anyone create their own success stories yet? I was my own. I created my own success story. Awesome. I had been, you know, I'm, I've been 225. I've been 125. I've been lean. I've been skinny. I've been mean. I've been awesome. And I've been not so awesome. So I've been every spectrum and I can identify with people on pretty much every level, no matter where or how they got to their weight, mm -hmm. divorce, death. I've experienced so much that I know what's possible. And sometimes it just takes one person to believe in that person. When I know that I've done it, I can believe in anybody going, dude, it's a matter of a switch, you know, flip of the switch. And, and, and speaking to you, Kathy, knowing what you've already accomplished personally, <clears throat> you can do that. But don't forget, guys, you can go to the crew Facebook page and pull any stories from there. You got all those community groups, pull from stories there. I mean, you're not a lack of stories. And if you need one, you can always go to the team page and say, yeah. I need a story about whatever, the, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. or somebody with MS or diabetes or whatever. And I'm telling you, the team's big enough. Somebody either has a story handy or I can get it to you really quickly. So, oh my gosh, yeah. Clarissa, this might be the greatest call we've ever had in the history. No, y'all, he's just saying that. I like, to think I'm, <laughs> I like to think I'm pretty stinking entertaining on these things, but I have, I mean, I literally have five pages of notes. Guys, I would love for cool. you guys to, on the crew wall, to let us know um, some feedback uh, on this call so I can forward that on to Clarissa so she knows uh, how she's helped. Uh, quick reminder, July's personal development is yeah, listening to John C. Maxwell's 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth. Also, don't forget The One Thing by Gary Keller. There's it, So keep adding to the library. I'm about to look that up as soon as I get off of here. Um, please keep sharing your stories. That goes into right what we've talked about. You can see on the slide there that we have a bunch of before and nice. We want to continue to hear your stories. And then last but not least, guys, remember, as you're bringing on new coaches, make sure you're sending them to crewtrainings.com slash new coach so they get their new to crew webinar. Clarissa, thank you so <laughs> much. I hope you have a wonderful yeah. rest of your week uh, in touch soon. You're thank sweet. you. Have a great night. Love you guys. Love Trust you. Crew. We'll talk soon. Bye, y'all. <laughs> uh, yeah.